Rich Basaccia is going to interview for the head coaching position with the Las Vegas Raiders today. According to Ian Rappaport, Mark Davis will speak to Rich Basaccia and allow Basaccia to make his case as to why he should be the Raiders' permanent head coach. Now, I want to discuss Basaccia a little bit, kind of give you guys my thoughts and opinions at the same time. You know, some players really love Rich, and they really go and, and talk about how they want him as their next head coach, and I kind of want to get into it a little bit. You know, Rich Basaccia took over a 3-2 and two club that had just lost their head coach, and he did a pretty decent job, right? He went 7-5. and five. We made the playoffs for the first time in five years. Although we haven't won a playoff game in 20 years, we still made the playoffs. And you can credit Rich Passaccia for that. And not only did he lose the head coach of John Gruden and he took over, but we lost Henry Ruggs, Damon Arnett. We had a Nate Hobbs situation happen, among some other things. And those things are very difficult to overcome. And Rich Passaccia kind of overcame a lot of those things. Now, obviously, I know everybody wants Jim Harbaugh, or at least most of us want Jim Harbaugh. But let's be realistic, right? Jim Harbaugh to the Raiders or Jim Harbaugh leaving Michigan in general is likely not going to happen, right? Or at least there's a very small percent that that's actually going to happen. I remember throughout this season, so many times people were saying things like, hey, let's get Devontae Adams. Let's, let's trade for him before the trade deadline. O Odell Beckham Jr. has just be, uh, gotten released. Let's go pick him up. And people wanted all these things to happen, and they were very pumped up for them to happen, and ultimately they never happened. And I almost feel like the Jim Harbaugh situation is very similar. I, I feel like the fans want it more than maybe someone like Mark Davis, although there are some rumors out there that uh, Jim Harbaugh will be meeting with the Raiders. It's just a matter of time. I don't know if those are true, but... If the Raiders had the option of Jim Harbaugh, I think that makes sense. But realistically speaking, we're probably not going to get Jim Harbaugh. Harbaugh finally got Michigan turned around uh, in terms of he's finally there where it's his guys, right? This was the fifth year at Michigan, 100% now his players at Michigan. And he finished in the top four this past season. I'm not sure why he would leave that if he worked so hard to build that. Uh, and it's finally built. At the same time, you look at which coaches are actually available. Realistically speaking, the coaching options that the Raiders have are going to be guys like Rich Basaccia, Gus Bradley, Leslie Frazier, uh, Gerard Mayo, uh, among some other guys, right? The Mike Tomlins, the Sean Paytons, the Jim Harbaugh's, those are long shots, right? Especially Mike Tomlin and Sean Payton. They have great things going with those respective clubs. But why would they leave those clubs for the Raiders job now I know some people will make the argument well our club has quarterbacks and those clubs don't but I would argue those clubs have something the Raiders don't have which is great rosters right all those clubs are missing are quarterbacks and you can find quarterbacks they're out there you can even try to get Derek Carr if you really like Derek Carr with that being said it's like should the Raiders actually hire Rich Basaccia like is he one of the leading candidates like would you guys rather have Basaccia Bradley, maybe Todd Bowles or, or one of these other guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. You know, I, I think it's very interesting that the Raiders are interviewing Basaccia. Obviously, he was told he would have that opportunity. Um, some players really like Basaccia. Uh, you can see what Max Crosby kind of wrote here. He says, everybody knows my vote. I made that very clear. I love Rich. Defensive end Max Crosby said on the Rich Eisen show. I think he's the best man for the job. He's come in and done such an amazing job. We won 10 games with a team that's had tragedy, lost everything you could imagine. Uh, Derek Carr said something very similar. He said he's proven that people listen to him, Carr said. Our team listens to him, and I love him so much. I'm thankful for him. Um, you guys can obviously see that these players actually respect Basaccia, and it's not just Max and Derek, two leaders in, in, in the club, right? Uh, guys in the past that have played on the special teams unit for Basachi have also said something very similar, which is they respect him and they love him and they appreciate him. It almost seems like people want to come and play for a guy like Basachi. And I almost feel like if the Raiders can keep Basachi around and he is a good fit, why not keep him? Why not allow him to potentially build this team? Now, obviously for me personally, I think the better option would be to bring in someone else, a fresh mind, a young uh, offensive coordinator that could become a head coach or even a defensive coordinator that can become a head coach, right? I, I don't mind going that route either. Obviously, at that point, we would have to figure out who's going to be the offensive play caller. Either way, it's exciting that the Raiders have so many different coaching candidates, man. It's crazy to think that the Raiders have had John Gruden 
Uh, four years ago, they brought him in, and they were going to have him for the next 10, and we haven't had a lot of success coming into the season, and, but this season was that season, right, that we were supposed to have a ton of success, but we were still locked in with John Gruner for the next six years, and it's crazy how in one season, the entire organization flipped. Mike Mayock's out. John Gruden's out. Rich Bisacci is now interviewing for the head coaching position, among some other guys, right? It's crazy how the entire Raiders organization shifted so quickly. But I am still thankful for both Mike and John because both of those guys, let's face it, they put together, in my opinion, a good roster, a good football roster that could potentially get it done. And they brought these guys in, right? You look at the Nate Hobbs, the the Unique Ngakwes, the Max Crosbys, uh, guys like Colton Miller, right? Though, you know, Mike and John were the guys that brought these players in. Like, we have a really solid nucleus already here, a solid foundation, guys that are foundational pieces. I know not all these guys worked, right? Uh, Damon Arnett, uh, Cleveland Farrell. I know some of these guys didn't work out. Uh, but the fact that we still have a bunch of other young players that are really good, I, I think we have something going. Uh, and I think a coach that in the past would look at the Raiders and say, that's a that's a trash organization. I don't want to go there. People would have looked at the Raiders and said, that's not somewhere where I really want to go because of maybe the owner, the players. But today it's different, right? We don't have the worst stadium in the league anymore. We don't have the worst locker room in the league. We don't have the worst training facilities we're in now where we have some of the top things, right? We have a quarterback. We have a young offensive line that's improving. We have some good defensive players, some good pieces, right? Remember, Brian Flores went to the Miami Dolphins while the Dolphins were probably the worst team in the league, or at least one of the worst teams. And he flipped them just like that, two seasons, which is still surprising that they got rid of him. But he flipped them within two seasons. And now you look at where the Dolphins are. The Dolphins are not competing for the playoffs. If they hit on their coaching candidate this, this upcoming year, they're in the, in the playoffs. You look at some other teams, like the Rams. They were a very average team. Six, seven wins every year, year after year. And Sean McVay went in there and boom, they're in the playoffs. They're competing for Super Bowls year after year after year. Uh, why could the Raiders not do that, right? We're so close and we have a good roster. We just need that coach to take them to the next step. Let me know what you guys think. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.